Hello everybody and welcome to Raft. Raft is exactly what you'd expect. You're on a raft, all alone, and with a whole unexplored ocean in front of you. So you'll have to depend on yourself. Expand your raft, find food, and find a way to get clear water. Because there is no one in this whole ocean here to help you. I've heard that this game is supposed to be played with other people, but I'm not alone. <laughs> no, I am my special friend with me, isn't that right? So if you have the ability to see, you can see that we're immediately placed on a 2x2 in the middle of the ocean. I actually kind of praise the developers for giving us a 2x2 instead of a 1x1. So you have a hook. This is basically all I know about the game. The way to get materials is by hooking salvages out of the ocean. What the? Why is there a day one text in the corner? Get that thing out. Eh, you know what. I'll keep a count on the days. Yo, what the? Is that an island? On the first day, our raft happened to crash into an unexpected island. I took the opportunity and set foot on the island. Okay, flowers could be handy. More flowers. Blue this time. But we did stumble upon this. Oh, a crate! Is it a treasure of this island? Whoa, that's a lot of stuff, man. But... What? My raft is leaving me! Yeah, so if you stay too long on an island, you could end up staying there forever. Ouch. We luckily got back with a minor injury. We also lost a fourth of our tiny raft to the only danger in the game. This motherfu- Okay, we better start expanding this raft before there's no raft left. So, a building hammer should work fine. Useful for expanding your raft. I'll take one of those. Now, 26 planks should be enough for us to expand a little. Plop, plop, plop. Man, I wish I could just hammer into thin air and a piece of raft pops into place. Come on, gang! Now we have some space to work with. Our own small little raft. You know what I just realized? The island might be the only time we ever set foot on dry land ever again. Cause it's just a raft. You can't steer it in any way or control the movement of it. Or can I? We can expand our raft vertically as well as horizontally. Damn, I wonder what's the limit to that. My hook just broke. Oh, okay, I can make a new one. Okay, I just need one more plastic. Oh, no, I'm... Damn, how do I get drinkable water? I know there has to be a way. Otherwise, we are going to dehydrate to death real soon. <gasps> we gotta purify the salt water. That's how real men survive. Oh, no, please don't. I just expanded that. Okay, so now I have a purifier. But how do I purify the water? Okay, so fill with salt water and place cup oh my god I just drank salt water come on then you better kiss your ass goodbye yeah and don't come back they better not be able to multiply but I feel like they're going to grow in numbers at some point ah so you can repair stuff that's really really handy especially if that shark is going to continue bothering me there's so many fish out there why do you go for me I'm not even a snack Right now, I'm really depending on where this raft will take us. Hopefully to something new. Something interesting that will help us survive on this cruel ocean. Okay, I am full on stuff. There gotta be a way to put like stuff in a chest or something. Yeah, this seems like something. Used to store items. Take one of those. There should do. Oh, I like that cute little thumbs up he did. Dude, I haven't thought about it. Why is there so goddamn much stuff in the ocean? Like there's plastic, planks, even boxes. Like, do we humans really throw away that much stuff? Oh, not again. I really do wonder if you can kill that thing. Now let's do some serious expanding. I'm thinking like we have two portions of a raft. Like one with uh, a lot of storage and uh, survival stuff. And the other with like fun stuff I found along the way. Oh yeah, and I found this like research station that I could craft. And like let's give it a little place of its own. Oh, you can build like antennas and stuff. Yo, you can like craft this and host a cookout. Oh, would you mind waiting a bit? I'm trying to hook this barrel real quick. Yeah, we killed it. Okay, no we didn't. But for right now, we need to find food. Quick. Maybe a fishing rod will do. 
But this is going to take a while, I guess. Yo, is that a manta ray? Oh, okay, I got a fish. Could be bigger. Well, that's what she said. I should be able to cook the fish on the same thing that purifies water. I mean, it's basically a grill. Okay, but seriously, what do I need? Well, time for some more hooking. Oh, shit, another island. But I guess we're not going to be able to stop at it after all. The thing is, with some of these games, the covers, promotions, and trailers look goofy and funny, but the actual lore and story about the game is deep. And this game you could say literally. The ocean is a dark and mysterious place, but with so much life and so much death. You should never trust the waves. Looking up at the stars, <laughs> I'm not alone. I have uh, the shark with me. <laughs> He's gonna be my friend someday. I thought we needed to add a floor to this raft, and I'm actually pretty proud of how I did this. We got this middle part that stretches out to two branches for storage and essential stuff, and this part for something. And then in the middle we have a beginning to the second floor. Right now this is kinda like a crow's nest. We've passed by like two different islands so far and they're just teasing me with all the possible goodies on them. So I'm looking at these research tasks and thinking that it's possible that these are the way to prove progress in this. Maybe it's more about what I do and not where my raft takes us, you know? So I'm thinking that we test out the limits on this raft a bit. How far up can we go? If a plane or helicopter comes flying by, I want them to see me, so I gotta stand out with this raft. Damn, we're still going. You know what, let's make a diving board, liven up the raft a bit. Just getting some planks, just getting some planks. Okay, time for some testing. Geronimo! Of course, you would be right here waiting. Call me Albert Einstein, cuz, I don't know, I'm researching stuff. I can turn this blueprint into something, maybe? We learned a schematic for a bucket. An antenna would be cool to have, though... Don't know if we have any use for that out here. Like, what are we going to connect to? The fish? Let's go! We can make an axe! Finally an upgrade worth noting. Hopefully it's enough to kill Shazam. I don't know, it's a pretty cute name for a shark. Shazam the shark. Kinda got a nice ring to it. Wait, it is literally surfing on the waves. There is so much to do and build in this game, and I just wanna stop for a moment and take it all in. Literally. Like, we can literally stop the raft. Somehow this bucket can act like an anchor for a raft. So it works like this. We can place it here and then we drop it. It is a one-time use, so we should probably wait for an island. Oh, nah, I saw you coming from a mile away. Oh, that was too close from destroying the diving board. The way of getting materials in Raft is quite a twist. And it's a good twist. I really like the way they changed things up. Because I really like wood in this game. Hey, yo, pause. No, I didn't mean... Uh, so yeah. This is day four. I was AFK. Yeah. Land ho! Okay, now this anchor should work. We learn as we go, fellas. And we just learned that a bucket of rocks can defy realism. Because this raft must weigh like more than 10 tons. Oh, I feel my brain cells multiplying. They've been multiplied by 10? Oh, so I should have 30 now. Okay, the shark is still here for some reason. What is going on with my raft? What is even that? Oh, a pineapple. I should probably empty my inventory before heading on to the island. And make some food. Okay, there's coral beneath the island. Okay, so this is like a 2x2 two two split in half kind of island. Oh, yo, is that a coconut? Watermelons! My favorite kind of fruit. Ah, uh, this makes sense. Getting wood from uh, chopping down a tree. Yeah, that makes very much sense. Coconut- oh! Coconuts. Oh, I wonder if you can plant trees on your raft. That'd be an unlimited amount of wood. Oh, shut your ass up. Can't you just not be here? Because I'll have all the fruits in this chest. Oh, a palm seed. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can plant trees. Or at least a palm. Yo, is it Christmas early? I got five presents. A chair and world globe? I don't know how that's necessary to my survival, but... Alright, I think that might have been everything on the island. Once more, we head out into the vast sea. But first, let's try to kill this shark so it doesn't follow us. Where is it? <gasps> Holy shit! 
Don't you dare say this isn't a masterpiece. I know a national treasure when I see one. I am not gonna question how this works, but it does. What's the limit on the building in this game? Cause this doesn't seem to be near the limit. <gasps> Oh my god, I killed the shark! Okay, I, I can loot it. Oh no, don't leave me behind raft. Oh, dolphins. Wait, what? Wait, how would I make this one float? What the? They're not supposed to be able to float. Bruh, this totally ignores physics. Holy. That might have been the best jump scare I've ever seen in any video game. Wait, so how long can I make this thing? Okay, so I've done some upgrades. I moved the research table to a safer position because the shark was always trying to bite it off where it was at. And I found out you can cook this shark meat. I'm thinking that like this second floor can be like a place where, where I grow stuff and possibly a plantation area. Ooh, that was actually very good. And you got like four meats from one shark. And I'd gladly take one for the price of four. I feel like our raft is coming along very nicely. Some funky stuff is going on and as well as a very we need first floor. Maybe the life on the ocean isn't so bad at all. What the f- is that big thing an island? I gotta see this. This thing is not even lying, like 15 times the size of the other islands I've seen. Yup, it's a big island, alright. Is that a goat? The greatest of all time? So many resources! So many resources! I gotta make like 9 trips back and forth. Cause I can guarantee I don't have enough space for all this. I can't even explain how I'm feeling right now. Both overwhelmed and with a ton of curiosity. Like why is there a flying chicken? And why is there a llama? What the freak is this? 